Good morning, good morning. It's been a few days, a few weeks probably. I did a live, but not live really teaching anything. So we are back. I apologize for being very busy lately, but we're here and just keep listening to me that you will learn a lot, a lot that you, I, I believe that you should learn about it. So today we're going to talk about like, what what is the power of choosing the right thing it's so important when you're designing a party or when you're creating a party yourself or when you decide uh, that you want to do an event first if you want to have a theme that's involved in your party when you do a party at home or you're doing a party, any type of party, doesn't matter. It could be a wedding, a sweet 16, uh, a, a child's party. I'll ask you to please think about the things that I'm going to tell you right now because it's so important. The power, it's, it's, so, it's so powerful to choose the right theme when you're choosing a, a party theme, like for an event. All right, I'm trying to decomplicate the situation because I see that's something that's very normal. And I go over with most of my clients. A lot of times clients come to me. If they don't have a theme party in, in mind. They don't know or they choose something that's very popular and everybody's been doing it, which is okay. Like I understand the way they're coming from and why they're doing what they're doing. And why are they choosing a theme according to just what's popular right now? Or why they choose themes that sometimes it doesn't have a deep meaning and that's what i want to teach you i want to make sure you understand there's a big difference that the power to choose the right thing it's going to make a big difference in your event in your party if it's the sweet 16 if it's a birthday it doesn't matter why because when you choose a party it's really about telling a story of the day of the event like when you choose a party wisely you're going to be like uh, picking items and picking things that are going to make sense to that child or the reason why you're celebrating. And every little thing, it's going to count towards that. And this is so important because every time that I have the chance to twist my client's mind and make sure they choose a party theme according to them, it makes a difference. Why? Because later on in life, when you decide to go with a party, for example, that's just about the what's popular. Later on in life, when your child grows up and asks, hey, mom, like, oh, well, I remember my first birth party. And uh, why did you choose what you choose? Like, what was the story behind? Uh, or even if you just ask, hey, mom, um, I hate clowns. Why, why did you choose circus party for me? And of course, in one, you don't know that he hate clowns, but it's the chance that you have to tell a story about them when they were one year old. And that's what I enjoy making sure when my clients choose a party theme, they choose a party theme that has a deep message. So later on, when this child grows up or when they're adults or when they're, they're starting to have their own children, they will do the same. It becomes something that's like um, very deep as a message that you're trying to pass it forward. Uh, I have so many stories of parties that we chose that way and so many reasons that you can dig in and think about when you're starting to think about choosing a party for your own theme. For example, a few years ago, I met a couple and when we sat down, they were, uh, she, her, ba her baby was small and when they sat down to do like a choose the party theme, same thing, they didn't know what to do, and we started guide, I started guiding them and talking to them. So I start asking questions, and I explain. It's funny because, like, the first birthday, it's truly all about the family. Like, it's not like the kid really knows what he's doing, and you might think he loves Mickey Mouse, and that's why you're going to choose Mickey Mouse's party thing. But honestly might be just because of the colors might be that's because what he watches might be because he likes the tone of voice because at one year old they really don't know how to communicate well and i don't mean for the parents that do first birthday related to uh children's characters the reason why i i i try to talk them out of it is because at that age 
you truly really don't have a concept. They don't have a concept to base a party theme on the child. You know, we have like, we think the kids like that. Oh, my daughter dances to this. Or, oh, my daughter loves this. I'm like, but it's truly not. It, it, it might not be, you know, honestly. And it's the only chance that you have when they little to choose a party that you can tell a story because later on when they grow up they are going to be doing this they are going to be making their own choices they're going to talk to you about like no mommy i really want power rangers or no mommy i really want my birthday thing to be about mermaids when they get older and they start expressing themselves according to the themes and colors that they want, it's going to be very hard for you to talk them out of it, out of it with a deep message when you're choosing them, something. It's gonna, we're going to have to like think twice about how we can send those messages inside the party in a different way. So like when, when they're one, two, and sometimes even three years old, I do recommend that you think think a little bit deeper. Like I was telling the story of this couple, when I sat down with them, they didn't know anything. So I started going over with them with what I just explained to you, that when they little, they truly don't know. We assume things, but truly we have, it's not like they screaming and yelling at you and say, I want a ballerina party, mom. I want this and that. It doesn't happen that, that way when they're that young. So like what I did should suggest them and I what I do suggest all my couples or all, all the people they're willing to take my advice when you choose the baby's first birthday. Try to think about the day we're going to be telling a story about them. You can choose maybe a theme that's related to things that they do at that moment or something that's related to the couple things that the couple do and represents that child at that age for example like that couple that i mentioned to you one of those couples which was a long time ago uh they both used to love going camping that was something that was like part of the family um um, how do I say, part of the family every day and something that they always enjoy. So every summer they're always going camping, they had a campsite and it was all about camping because they both loved and they both spent a lot of times camping. So when they, when it was time to choose the party thing, we did it, we decided to do camping. Why? Because it represents the couple. You know, this little child is going to grow up in the environment that Camping has a lot of meaning to them. So this is why we thought about it. We had a conversation and we went back and forth of things that they like to do or things that represent the family, something that matters. For example, let's see if your father is a chef and let's see that you always baking like or your father is always baking something for you or like showing you how to bake and he's always baking at home. Like it makes sense for you to incorporate things that has a message to say, you know what? Dad waited for this child for so long and now like I want uh, this birthday party to talk about like a little bit of dad waiting for him, what daddy does, the experience the expectations that he has for him like because dad enjoys cooking so much now i'm gonna have um a party that talks about that because dad's looking forward for the years that they're gonna bake together and cook together because sometimes in some cultures baking it's a way of bringing family together so like there's all this little message that we can send in the birthday party that when you think about it it's like a little bit nostalgic but it has a deep message. It has like, it's humanized. Like people talk about it all the time now. That's everything about being humanized. It's not just a party for a party. It's a party that has a major impact on telling a story of the day, telling a story about that couple, telling a story about things that they do together or things that represent what they want, uh, things that they aspire to the child, like so many ways that you can think about it. If you start to analyze and everybody's different and that's what makes it so much more fun and unique because you can incorporate and create a party 
based on items like that. That's going to be so different than just having a party that's popular and everybody have. So my suggestion to you is as much as you can, try to bring this knowledge, this education, this way of choosing a theme party that's going to empower your family, your children to think in a different level than just doing a party with no message. If you can carry on throughout the years, not just like in the beginning of the years, but like carry this within your child, you're going to teach them how to think so much deeper. And it might seem stupid to use a party in an example, but it's not. It's about values, how you can pass on your values to your child, that you can impact them and you can change the way they think. Because it's it's funny, like... um. A lot of people talk about like, why am I doing this? Why am I, am I teaching for free over here? Why am I explaining all these things? Why am I doing this? Because it's really not about like uh, making the money. It's truly not about like, what can I gain out of this? It's truly about how can I impact these people? Like, how can I impact this mom to help her uh, bring different values to their kids? Because I realized that Party, it's not just the decorations. Party, it's not just about like uh, how much money you're going to spend. Oh, oh, this is the coolest team ever. It's truly about how can we bring values into an important day for my family. You know, because I realized during COVID that this is what I do. I do way more than just to decorate. I bring values for families. I create memories for the families. We together can can transform a simple day, like an everyday, into something special. And this is what we do when we have a party, when we celebrate a milestone. This is what we are engraving in our children, that we're here. We are listening to them. We, un- we appreciate their accomplishment. We are here to back you up. And that's when we celebrate something. It means, like, for me, at least, I don't know about you as a mom, but now I understand more than ever that this is what's important. This is the message, and this is something that I should be shouting to my mothers and shouting for free to help them guide their children about this, help their family to bring values. Why now? More than ever, look outside what's going on. Look at COVID. Look at our parties like that got smaller. Some some families they were used to just like thinking about big parties and 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 doing something extravagant. Then now that they cannot do and they're not gonna celebrate. Hey, it's not about the big party. It's not about how much money you spend. It's not about like who's the famous cake designer. It's truly not. It's about showing to your child that you're there for them. Showing, empowering your kids with little message that you can put into these parties, into the celebrations for them to understand, I got your back. Because, you know, scientifically, like go research children. Sometimes they might get excited for the gift, but it's not what they remember. They might remember something specifically about that day that either brought them joy, made them laugh. It could be just spending time with them by themselves or you guys cooking together or daddy who's never home who decided to come home for the birthday party and now they're going to go hiking because they haven't hiked in so many years since daddy got this new job. You know, it's things like that that's going to matter and things like that that later on is going to cause an impact for your child to remember the things that you've done for them. The things that you gave up to show them and show them and empower them that you're there. And truly, in every party, we can do that. It's not about how much money you spend. It's not really about, um, how do I say it, Uh, the decorations. It's truly about choosing something that you can impact your child to to show them to empower them that you care, that you're going to back them up, help them to make a difference in your family. And this is why we need to celebrate. This is why we should always do that every time we accomplish a milestone.
You know, in our brains, if you want it or not, we are recording these moments. You know, if we just sit back and do nothing, and if you just do things without without having a strategy, like why you doing it, what you doing it, what kind of values are you really bringing in to this family? What kind of values when you're celebrating, you are showing them? You know, and this is what I want to remind you. And this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And this is why I'm here teaching you. I teach you all the basics of the decorations, things that you should analyze so you can save the money. Because a lot of times money is an issue. And when money is not an issue, I want you to remind you that. Try to be a little bit more smarter. Put more love, more care, more attention when you're choosing things. Thinks of things a little bit more deeper. Like think every time you have a chance to create that party, the event, think of something that's going to have a message that's going to empower them for life. You know, like I said, it's not the money. It's not the decorations. It's how you can create the strategy. How can you involve your children to create values for them that's going to empower them, that's going to empower your family and become something bigger than just like, oh, let's do a party, you know, and let's have fun and let's drink and let's celebrate. Let's create this amazing decoration. Let's have all you they can have is is the whole thing of like creating memories. You know, memories that are going to last forever. Memories that are going to impact them. Memories that are going to help them to overcome situations. A lot of times it's like it's the chance that they have to be reminded. Like when they have friends all over playing. That they know how to. Um, they have that love. They have that thing to back them up. And we all need this in society. That's all I'm asking. It's like please. Try to think deeper of a party. Even when you're choosing a theme, try to really think about how can I create a value to my family with that theme. Don't just choose a theme because it's popular. Think, you know, like I said, in my daughter's second birthday, I chose pink to represent my mom because my mom wasn't here anymore. She wasn't here able to celebrate. So there were little things in that party that everything had a mean on and I knew it. Not everybody knew. But like me, and when my daughter got older, I can have the chance to tell her that. So when you're choosing a wedding, it's the same thing. I have a sweet 16 tomorrow. And it's beautiful because the grandfather, uh, he loves celebrations. He loves parties. And he was looking forward to do this little girl sweet 16 party. And unfortunately, he passed away before. So we do, we are going to have like something to, um, to basically mark his presence there. We printed like a picture and she has like a letter saying something very nice towards that. And he's the one who actually paid for everything because he was started saving for this party for her. It was his gift, you know? So it's something that's so much more powerful to make sure when you're creating, you can put those values in it. You know, like the child's going to have this session, which she has a picture of the grandfather, which means a lot. He's the one paying for everything. The thing that she chose, it was according to a dream that they talk about it. They always talk about this, like it was something that they wanted. So like you will always have that to remember. And that is so important, guys. Pass this type of values to your kids. Please choose themes, choose items, choose locations. Just anything that has a deep, meaningful message when you're creating an event. Don't just do it without having a strategy. Some people don't know that's possible to do that. Truly, 90% of the people that I sit down with never thought this way. And it's not because they don't want to. It's because they're not aware that we can use a party for that. That when we celebrate something, we can do more than just like the get together and the food and the family. That we can show values. That we can create little values. That we can empower our family, our children. And they don't know how to do that because they're not aware. That's why I ask. If you know anybody that needs to hear this message. If you know anybody that's doing a wedding. 
send them this message. Say, hey, there's this crazy girl online that she's always talks about like uh, creating deep, deep messages with party, that she's always talking about like how can you do this in a better way? How can you even use your money wisely? Why? So this way you can create a strategy behind everything. If you don't have the money, you might be surprised that the money that you have, it's enough to create something else that's going to be way more powerful than just like spending on decorations or spending on a, a famous cake designer. Because it's truly not about the material part. It's truly not about just doing it. Do it smart. Do it that every single penny is going to count. And not just because it's money. It's going to count because every single penny was towards something that's going to be way more valuable. And that's my message to you today. To make sure how you can choose a thing that can be so powerful. That can empower. That can uh, be more than just a regular thing. All right. So thank you so much for listening and I'll see you guys hopefully next week, either Monday or Saturday. I promise I'll be trying to post this online. Thank you. Have a great week.